Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll demonstrate the new shell element thickness visualization option. As you probably know, shell elements are represented by what the programmers call a shell surface, which is just a surface with no visible thickness in the modeling area. The user inputs a shell thickness, which is utilized internal to the software to calculate the stiffness of the structure and represent deflections, stresses, and strains. Take a look at this cantilever plank. It is one half inch thick. We created a surface at the middle or neutral surface location of the plank to represent the shell surface. We have two bodies and will only use the surface in the middle for the simulation. In the simulation tree, you can see the two bodies. We excluded the solid body and specified a thickness of one half inch for the shells on the mid surface. We also applied a pressure to what we are calling the upper or top surface of the plank. We'll show the mesh to identify the top and bottom of the shell. The top, in this case, is colored gray, and the bottom shell defaults to this orange color. When you plot the longitudinal stresses, it defaults to the top option, and you see the red color indicates tension near the fixed end, as expected. If you look at the underside, you'll still see the red color. So you can create a new plot and change the display to show the shell bottoms as we did here. The shell bottoms show a compressive longitudinal stress in blue color as expected, but when you rotate to look at what you might think is the upper surface, it still shows the blue color. Now in simulation 2013, you can visualize the upper and lower shell surface stresses simultaneously as seen here. You can clearly see the red color tension area on the upper surface, and when you rotate to look at the underside, you'll see the blue color representing compression. Additionally, you can see the software is showing a geometric display to represent the actual shell thickness. Just look in the advanced options of the plot dialog. There is a new item labeled Render Shell Thickness in 3D. Here it's turned on and you might notice the option for top is grayed out since the new item will simultaneously plot both the top and the bottom of the shell surface. In this video, we showed the new shell element thickness visualization for SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013. <laughs> 